into the live now from Fox Newsroom here. A young Atlanta rapper known for being signed to Young Thug's YSL Records has now been arrested and charged with murder in connection to a fatal shooting in June at an apartment complex in Atlanta. That is the booking photo right there just in from our friends at Fox 5 Atlanta. Now the Atlanta Police Department confirmed 20-year-old Jacoby Moody, known by his stage name of FN De Dealer, was taken into custody on on Thursday, he is being held in the Fulton County Jail without bond. Jail records indicate he was not only charged with murder, but also possession of a firearm or knife during the commission of or attempt to commit certain felonies. Officials told Fox 5 Atlanta that they were called to the Columbia at Mechanicsville Cross Apartments on the 500 block of Wells Street at around 2 a.m. local time after reports of shots fired on June 5th of this year. At the time of the incident, police said they were looking for three suspects, believing two of them had opened fire. A captain there with the Atlanta Police Department saying that two males approached the victim while uh, he was in his car and fired multiple rounds. After the shooting, officials said the three men fled in a black Dodge Charger without a tag. The victim just 28 years old. Fox 5 Atlanta working now to learn more about the victim. Now, it is important to note that Moody is not one of the defendants listed in the ongoing YSL RICO trial we've been covering here on Live Now from Fox. But again, a young Atlanta rapper known for being signed to Young Thug's YSL Records, now arrested and charged with murder in connection to that fatal shooting in June at an apartment complex in Atlanta. As we do get more details on that, we'll bring them to you live, raw, and unfiltered. Man, we back with another story out of Atlanta about a YSL rapper just getting charged with murder. It's plenty of YSL artists that's not in the RICO indictment. You know, they're still out on the streets. You know, YSL is a big record label. A lot of street dudes, you know, 50, 60, 70 street dudes that's claiming YSL on Cleveland Avenue, Cleveland. You know, and it's more out on the streets than it is in the RICO indictment. You know, they only got, what, 28, 30 of them. You know, there's 50, 60 of them still out on the streets that's claiming YSL. So at the end of the day, it's just like justice, half of justice getting served because you ain't got all the YSL members off the street. They still represent YSL. You know, and this, this, this kid right here, he only 18 years old. Ain't no telling how long he been signed with YSL. But like I said, Thug might get off this case. The lawyer just filed a motion to get all the charges and the other eight defendants that's left the case thrown out because statute of limitation. So as we keep on going and watching the head dog of YSL fight for his life in court, you got the youngsters out here still committing crimes, making the case even harder to be beat. By the defense. The DA having a field day right now. Thug can try to get out. The prosecution can make a case that. It's still unsafe. It's still. More YSL members out on the street committing crimes. So they not making the case. Better for their boss. They making it worse. While I'm going through a, a, a case like this, everything's supposed to be smooth and quiet on the streets. Don't nothing need to be tied to YSL while most of the members going through a RICO case. Fighting for their freedom right now. But like I said, we're in our last days. And this could be another way for the prosecution to keep the locked down not give him a bun while he going through trial this 18 year old probably wasn't even with YSL 
They just put it up there. It's a trick. It's a tactic. But like I said, you know, as the case going down and start back up July 10th and everything ready to go. But like I said, they making it worse for the ones that's on trial right now. You know, with the other with the other YSL members still out on the streets committing crimes and shit. But like I said, when our last days, everybody want to be somebody. Everybody want to be, you know, accepted by a group that everybody know, you know, unfortunately, no matter how old you are. Charged with murder. He finished. It seemed like they got the right teenager. They got the right dude. I hope he say he ain't with YSL. Because if he got any tattoos or anything that really show he's a real YSL member, then it's going to create more problems in the RICO case. It's going to cre create more problems on Thug trying to get a bond motion. There's nothing good about this for the case. But let me know what y'all think about this crazy story, man. This case don't look good. You know, they still picking members up off the street, claiming YSL. It ain't good for Thug and everybody else that's fighting the trial, fighting the case right now. But, you know, when court started back, we'll continue to see on how the DA, you know, attack the situation. Because there's new stuff going on. Every day, every week, there's something else going on in the YSL case. But let me know what y'all think about this crazy story. Y'all think Thug gonna get out? Or y'all think the same way I think? The YSL members on the street creating more damage for the case, for the people on trial. But let me know what y'all think about this crazy story, man. We out.